<laughs> how the devil are you? Why are you all that? Anyway, so back with another video. Um, so I decided what to do uh, with some of my boxing videos is try and put a couple of uh, videos into one uh, because I don't, don't get much time to make videos at the moment. Um, you know, life's a bit tough at the moment. It's very hard for me to find the time with work and kids and babies and stuff like that. So I'm going to sort of try and do this uh, where I'm going to put a couple of subjects into one video because I can't make, you know, lots of videos on each subject. So I'll just cram it into one and I'll do it ad hoc like that. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so the first one is the Iranian Hulk. Hulk smash versus Martin Ford. Apparently the scariest man on the planet. Bold claim. He's pretty scary, don't get me wrong, uh, but on the planet, nah, I don't think so. Anyway, he's a big lump, six foot eight, full of muscle, all natural, of course. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, and um, so he's fight. He, they apparently they got they've booked to fight in April in the O2 uh, Arena in London uh, next year. Whether it'll happen or not, I don't know. Um, I mean, you know. There's a lot, been a lot of speculation about the Iranian Hulk uh, photoshopping some of his pictures on his um, Instagram account, um, you know, and looking at it, it is, it is a bit spurious. It is, you know, I'm very skeptical. Uh, when you look at his videos compared to his photos, he doesn't look nowhere near as big in his videos. Have a look at, have a look at this, this clip here uh, from his Instagram account recently. Hello, my name is Iranian Hulk. Cold bones. Let's go. the contract <laughs> Hulk is ready I'm ready for it boy so <laughs> what the hell is that all about <laughs> he didn't even hit that bone that hard really did he uh, it, it, it broke very easily and he cut all his hands, not on the bone, but on the stone because he didn't hit it with his knuckles and his, and his fingers here <laughs> caught the stone underneath. And it really did look like that the bone had been sort of pre-cut a little bit prior to him punching it because it wasn't that hard a punch really. And did he, you know, realistically, look at, if you look at him, he's a big lump, but he's nowhere near as big as he appears on some of his uh, pictures. So there could be a little bit of photoshopping going on there, we don't know. So will this bout happen? Maybe, I hope it does, it'd be fun to watch, do you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm on the ball, I'm, I'm on the fence with that one, whether it'll happen or not. And next is Tommy Fury versus Jig Paul. Uh, this is coming up uh, next month. Um, and I've seen a poll uh, going on YouTube recently uh, where they said, who do you think will win? And a lot of people were voting, you know, quite highly for Fury, Tommy Fury. Now, I'm not sure if that's the case. I think that uh, Tommy Fury's all right. He's not the greatest boxer in the world. And he has taken time out of boxing to become a reality star. Um, and he's back into boxing now. And his last fight, his last outing wasn't the most uh, greatest the performance I've ever seen. He was a bit flat-footed, a little bit slow getting off. Um, yeah, it wasn't fantastic, but he won the fight. Uh, and I've been guilty of underestimating Paul, uh, Jake Paul, in the past. And I've always kind of, it's always the hope of me that he's going to get his head knocked off. It never really happens. Uh, and he's, he's a decent fighter. He is pretty good. And I think it's going to be a very competitive fight. Let's just have a look at some footage between them.
Cannons, TNT in the house. You look. Cannon! Let them go! Knock them out! Yes! So when you look at the footage, really of them training, it's not a huge difference. And I would say Jake Paul has a little bit of the edge. He's got a little bit better footwork. He's not as flat-footed as Tommy Fury. So it's going to be. It's, it's not as easy to call as saying Tommy Fury. He's the experienced boxer. He's only seven fights in, uh, and like I said, he's taken a lot of time out of boxing. So mm, I'm not sure. I think that Jake Paul could could pip, could nick this one. But then again. Uh, I'd be wrong in the past. My predictions are awful. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully saying that Jake Paul's going to win will make him lose. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, so again, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Who's going to win? I think it's going to be Jake Paul, but we'll wait and see. And then we have Mike Tyson apparently fighting Logan Paul. Now, I've got to say, take my hat off to Logan Paul for taking that fight. He's got to be a bit off, isn't it? Now, you know, Mike Tyson is one of the scariest men on the planet. Even now, in his 50s, he's still pretty scary. Um, and, <laughs> you know, a lot of people are saying, well, Mike Tyson's getting on a bit now, and, you know, it's more of a fairer fight. Uh, you know, Logan Paul might put up a decent fight against him because Logan Paul's quite a big guy, really. Uh, fast, you know, and he's got fast hands, but he's not a great as a boxer. His brother's better. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, in the last fight when Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones Jr. Mike Tyson held back quite a lot. Uh, and <laughs> realistically, if you look at the fight, it looked like Roy Jones was like out of his depth a little bit. Uh, and he looked, when they asked him after the fight, would you do it again? He was like, hell no. <laughs> okay, no chance. Uh, because Mike Tyson looked sharp. He looked sharp. He looked in great shape for his age. Uh, and he hadn't, he didn't seem to have lost that speed and that power. Uh, uh, no, it didn't look like Holyfield is kind of shot a little bit, unfortunately. Holyfield looks in great shape, but when it comes to actually being in the ring, he's quite slow, his timing's off. Unfortunately, he's just gone past that stage you now where it's a bit, he's gone a bit too old. Um, maybe before his time, I don't know. But Holyfield looked washed up, unfortunately. Great, great boxer, great man. I think his fighting days are over. Uh, but conversely, with Mike Tyson, when he's fighting Roy Jones, he looked pretty sharp. Didn't look out of breath, didn't look like he was uh, blowing up at all in the fight. So I think Logan Pauls could be biting off a, a lot more than he could chew. But here's the thing, is it gonna be another one of these stupid, um, I know it's an exhibition bout, but is it gonna be one of these stupid bouts like with Mayweather, Mayweather clipped him and then held him up <laughs> so he didn't fall down? because they probably told him, don't knock him out. It's an exhibition belt. We want the money. We don't want him losing or getting beat up or knocked out because the, the money train stops moving, doesn't it, you know? And that's what it's all about, the money. So they'll probably say to Mike Tyson, Mike, whatever you do, don't knock him out. But here's the thing with Mike Tyson, he is a bit of an animal, okay? So if Logan Paul starts getting a bit cocky and jabs Mike Tyson in the face, Mike Tyson could see red. You know, and go, oh, stuff it, I'm having you, bam, bam, okay? You don't know, I hope that happens, I hope it does. Um, but we wait and see whether it's, either the boat's gonna materialize, I, I think it is on, um, or, and whether it'll just be an exhibition boat where Mike Tyson just tickles him a little bit 
and you know gives him a chance to move around the ring and it finishes on with a draw boo i want mike tyson to knock him out <laughs> anyway so that about wraps it up love to know your thoughts in the comment section and what i talked about today uh let me know and i'll see you in the next video